Ahoy hoy, and welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19, where I do reviews, I suppose, of all of the dankest memes from site 19. Let's get started. Humanity during an XK class into the world scenario. Humanity cloned. SCP-2000. That's true, but I kind of figure it'd be more like that one painting from that lady in Spain that tried to fix the picture of Jesus up. <laughs> anyway. YouTube at 3 a.m. be like, is this egg a picket? <laughs> yeah, that's a 40 minute or so long video about, um, is this egg a bit? I think it's a harsh critique, right? Yeah, that's a harsh critique, I think. Either way, <laughs> I'm proud of that title. I don't care. <laughs> Keep politics out of the wiki. SCP-5004. I'm just going to assume that that is uh, megalomania. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm going to bet. There's a lot of uh, Y memes that to sit the two <laughs> SCP-5000 stuff. 682, Humanity and SCP-5000, 05 Council. I mean, I guess. I don't quite get it, to be honest with you. Like, I don't get the fascination with it. I read it and was like, who cares? But maybe that's just my personality. Maybe that, that's my problem. Like, maybe the problem is me and not the article, because I read it and I'm like, who cares? And everybody else reads it and goes, why? What could it possibly be? And I'm like, the fuck cares? Everyone's dying. That's all that matters, right? There is no message. Another one. There's no message composed via consensus of the O5 council. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I think the most unbelievable thing about that entire article is that there was some sort of consensus of the O5 council. Do you see your serpent's hand? Who cares? I like how this person's gamers against weed, but no. It's Marshall Carter and Dark. Obviously. SCP community. Downvote. <laughs> Bad article. Minus one, minus one, minus one. I really, and the, this is a good point, a, a good example of one. Uh, anything gets down to negative 30. Okay, so thankfully the site in recent years, I don't know when exactly, but it was, it's not super long ago, but recently-ish, um, they changed it so that if anything goes below, I believe minus 15, I think it's got to go to minus six. It's got to go to minus 16. Once it gets to minus 16, it drops off of pretty much every display you can possibly find. So the only way for something to get worse than that is for people to be linking it. And yeah, that's a whole problem in and of itself. Um, once something is already failing, I definitely don't bother with going in and going, oh, well, I better put my downvote on it. And I fucking hate it when people link that shit in chat. They're like, look at this. T Everybody wants to point and laugh at the new kid. Like, stop it. Just stop it. They're already, it's already failing, you know, and just let them get the, give, if you want to give them some feedback and useful feedback and not dogpile and go, I agree with so-and-so when they said that you're a piece of shit. If you want to give them good feedback, do that. Otherwise, just leave it alone and move on. To something good why would you want and, and that's another thing i've never got that like i get that in chat every once in a while who wants to see this cursed image I'm, no you sold that terribly if i'm seeing an article that's minus 30 i'm not gonna bother with it <laughs> anyway all right this is the another yep that does this thing. i'm not gonna read this every time this comes up there were so many i, I selected a few there were so many SCP-5000 memes. It's like, and a lot of them were the same thing. It was just this message and then some sort of like uh, small thing on it. It's like, I don't know. you were the chosen one. You were supposed to protect humanity, not destroy them. Uh, Foundation decided to destroy humanity in the most roundabout way possible. I found him, the person who asked. Nobody asked. <laughs> The Foundation. Anomalies must be contained and hidden from the public eye to ensure the protection of humanity. The Sermon's Hand. Anomalies, anomalous individuals, have the right to live free in fulfilling lives and should not be contained or destroyed unless they are a threat to others. Marshall Carter and Dark. Hello. I like money. I don't watch Spongebob, so I... I'm gonna assume this is the character everybody calls Mr. Krabs? I don't know, he looks sort of like a crab. <laughs> Either way, I can't do his voice because I've never heard it. Reading SCP-5000 and trying to figure out why the Foundation went sicko mode. Who cares? <laughs> I, I'm so... 
amazed at people's reaction to this. Why would you read that article and be like, why? Why did it do it? Who, who, when uh, the obvious answer is, who the fuck cares? It doesn't, I don't know. I think maybe I'm just built differently than other people. I am the problem. <laughs> I don't mind this. And I've actually thought about like doing a video or based on this. This is a video idea where I do it in character as Dr. Sumerian. <laughs> <laughs> during during a, a uh, during the five thousand thing, rare photo of Doctor Smirin after being infected by the O5's mimetic hazard. You're wrong about human life. Disgusting. Dank memes from Site 19 discussing Doctor Bright's sex life. Dank memes from Site 19 discussing Andrew Duxon. No one ever gets his name spelled correctly anymore. I think I think it's duh, yeah, off the top of my head I can't remember but I don't think it's d like spelt like a duck I think it's D U K S I N it's not duck skin it's duckson right anyway being given keter duty oh everyone's united and then dang, and someone says he's going to terminate after a month even if he survived SCP fans when they read him <laughs> A monster who wants to kill humans for the 500th time oh my god that's insane I didn't expect that Apocalypse. Mm. XK class into the world scenario. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw this one and only wanted to include it for the simply fact, simple fact that this is a terrible way to do it. Getting a main, I, I'm assuming that means by getting a main site page, or maybe they mean registering for the wiki. Greenlight one, greenlight two, ideas forum thread, draft forum thread, getting draft crit, me the fifteen. I, I, I guess this is just giving up. But you don't really have to do any of that. You can just create an article, post it to the wiki, watch it fail, learn why it failed, and then move on. The easiest way to understand how to get an article to survive on the wiki is just read modern articles. That's it. Read modern articles. Everyone's like, oh, I read SCP-049, I read SCP-682, I read SCP-093, which is pretty complex and similar-ish. It's still completely a prototype for what we do now. Just read modern articles. That's the problem, though. I think a lot of people read the SCP wiki and don't really have the attention span for some of the longer modern articles. Not every modern article is super long, by the way, but a lot of them are. And people just read them and get kind of fatigued at it. It's no longer flash fiction as it used to be. It's more short stories, which is fine, but it's not what everyone comes here for. Problem is, you can still do flash fiction on the wiki, but you got to be very. You get it's it's a fine it's a very fine tuned sort of thing. Anyway, you guys didn't tune in for writing advice. I never ask a woman her age. Never ask a man his salary, which is mm, the. Never asking anyone their salary is just a, uh, a convenient, or making it so that it's taboo socially to ask people how much money they make is a way for employers to control their employees. Because if you know what somebody doing the exact same job as you is making, then you know you're getting unfairly paid. So you make it taboo. You Oh no, you're not supposed to ask what people make. That's rude. Anyway. Yeah, CP found it. The SCP Foundation. What happened to Site 13? Who knows? Something. I, I believe in Site 13. Uh, that's the one where Sumerian gets his head blown off in the in the in the square of Site 13. When you see the number five in an article, and you're like, "Is this the fifthest? Is this is this fifthest doing a sneaky?" Which I believe was the title of the actual post. Everyone, when day breaks, is the real SCP-001. Me, an intellectual. There, like, there is a real SCP-001. They're all true. None of them are true. Some of them are true together. Some of them are exclusively true. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? It's a multiverse. Live with it. Did you neutralize SCP-3999? Researcher Tallarin, yes. What did it cost? Everything. You know, this is the thing about... I only included this so I could... <laughs> We include this so I could say, once again, I still haven't read SCP-3999. In fact, I don't think I've read any of the SCP-3000 contest entries. Yeah, not one of them. That was a long time ago. I probably should get around to that. Dank means from Site-19. SCP-1609 and the corresponding GOC documents prove that the Foundation is biased against the GOC. Thus, a lot of information about the GOC and other Foundation reports can't be trusted. Mm. 
justice for the chair. Even though there is no proof the chair or the boats are or were sentient, they just reacted to outside stimuli, which doesn't prove sentience. Bringing up 1609 and 1522, literally every time anyone tries to argue in favor, in fa who's arguing in favor of the GOC is also dumb because in the, I guess this person is. In the latter case, the GOC only intervened because the foundation failed to properly keep information about the ships from spreading. But apparently people don't want to be bothered with reading the corresponding GOC article. So here's the thing. All of that is true. Every single bit of it is true. And that doesn't mean the GOC is a good, are the good guys. It doesn't mean that there's somebody you should be rooted for. Just because the Foundation thinks that someone is bad doesn't mean that every time thing the Foundation says about that person is untrue. It may be tinted slightly, but it doesn't mean it's untrue. Anyway. Welcome to the Rider Stereotypes gang, kid. We've got Non Sequitur Steve, the Kamikaze Mike, and Special Snowflake Johnson. Well, what did Special Snowflake Johnson do? He went into a rage state. Every, I wonder if these are real comments. Everyone I know says I'm a great writer. Why are you guys being so mean? This is good stuff. It's just a little different. <laughs> Screw you all. I'm going back to insert amateur art writing <laughs> gallery here where they aren't assholes. My high school teacher says I write at a college level. I can do without your help. <laughs> uh I have seen all of that in the past, that's for goddamn sure. This one, I've mentioned this in one of my past videos, and I'm glad it's come up again. Okay, everyone, we need to exterminate the human race. Any ideas? Release 682, clone 173. Uh, just send someone into 2935 and have them turn around. That is one of the main problems I had with that article with SCP-5000, or why. Even though I don't give a fuck why... <laughs> which is already a problem, I guess. But, uh, yeah, there are so many simpler ways to kill all of humanity. Just fucking kill humanity, not... But the whole of SCP-5000 is just the Foundation trying to be as indirect of an asshole as they can possibly be. Let's kill all of humanity. But let's not do it efficiently. We want to make it inefficient? We want to give them a fighting chance? The SCP Foundation is capable of destroying the world today, this very minute. They could make a choice with regards to one of the items they have in containment and just, that's it. It's over. We're dead. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> but instead of doing that, they release a 682 and show some pictures of 096 to everybody, which, we, as we've talked before, and even in the article, doesn't kill everybody. It just kills a few people. Or you could send them into O oh Death, which is the, <laughs> which will instantly kill everything in the entire universe, including humanity. Get her done. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and even if you're like, even if you have some sort of logical reason for that, maybe they don't want to kill things that aren't on Earth. Maybe you know, so two nine three five won't work. There's fucking a ton of other options. But no, we're gonna clone one. I don't fuck. I don't know fucking know. Oh, that's the last meme. Okay. So, first things first. Check in, oh, let's see. Check in the carousel underneath the video. I have, honest to God, I know this poster is the one I had up on uh, last video. I have merchandise coming in. I have a t-shirt, but it hasn't come in yet. And I have a poster coming in, but it hasn't come in yet. When they are here, they're going up on the wall and I'm gonna be wearing it for the at least one video. I don't know. I got one that may be too big for me, which I'm, oh, I overestimated rather than underestimated. I'm tired of buying clothes that are just a little bit too small for me and then being like, I'll lose weight and get in them and never doing it. So I got one that was a little bit bigger, I think, than I needed. But I don't know how their sizes work, so maybe it won't fit, but we'll see. Anyway, if you want to support this channel further, scroll down, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to the subscription button and you'll be notified when I premiere the next video. And if you really want to support the channel, now this is important because I know I'm going to be losing patrons this coming month due to decisions outside of my control in the SCP Wiki, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian. If you're one of those people who constantly, I get at least three or four unsolicited drafts a day now, which is fine. I'm cool with that, but I'm not, I guess I'm not cool with that. 
I have literally restricted it to Patreon backers only and friends of mine that I know from the SCP Wiki, like actual authors, uh, who I need to trade critique back and forth with. But yeah, I've limited it to just Patreon backers because the volume is too high otherwise. Simply, that's just the easiest way to put it. So if you were one of those people who is sending me unsolicited drafts, and there's a lot of you I know, head on over to patreon.com, pledge at $10, and I will review a 5,000 word or less draft. And you can pledge $20, and I'll give you multiple sessions of critique. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.